Hello folks, uh, I'm out and about again today. Short video, um, I'm in a beautiful location by a river and I'm gonna go and check out a so-called bunker that somebody told me about. So we're gonna have a look at it. I'm not too sure if it's gonna be true or not, but we're going to have a look. And uh, maybe some mines and a little walk around this wonderful location. We've got the river down there and obviously we've got a bit of a dam back there. So we're gonna cross that and have a look around. So catch you in a minute. It might be a short video, might be a long video, I don't know, but let's go and have a look. I'm just gonna check it out, go down, look around at this beautiful scenery. Beautiful place in Devon. We're gonna try and cross that. Go down and have a look. So yeah, we'll go across that side, have a look at the mine, and then we'll come back and check out this bunker. I mean, I've researched and I'm not aware of one around here, but I'll have a look anyway. I've been told it's up in the woods up there. So we're gonna have a look. But uh, yeah, great location. This, this is called uh, Maristow, Maristow Creek. And the tide comes in, that's tidal. Obviously that's river. <coughs> People have driven across this, but the road the other side going up through, it's, it's okay if it's a four wheel drive. But uh, there's some swans down there. So yeah, just thought I'd come out for an hour. Got a salmon leap over there. Sometimes you can see them jumping up. And we're going to cross this. So there is going to be water both sides. Marvellous looking down. Obviously we've had some rain so this is a bit higher than normal. Normally uh, you can walk across this bit with about an inch of water but did not chance that today. Getting a bit slippery. And here we are on the other side. No entry, no canoeing, no paddle boards, keep out. Yeah, that's a nature reserve there, guys. And there's a lovely little house across there. And we'll go and check out the mines. So, I haven't been to this mine before. So, I don't know what it's like. Um, not even sure what they mine for here it could be possibly a tin tin mine copper mine maybe that's normally everything you find around here in the southwest Devon and Cornwall but uh I'll have a little look but uh it's quite a nice area this A lot of wildlife around. But yeah, well, uh, there. Swamp. But yeah, we'll carry on and we'll see how far we get. Yeah, this river trundles up to a place called Denham Bridge and on to Tavistock, where there is um, a Tavistock to Morwellum Quay 
canal and I'll talk about this in my video because I'm going to do it to have a stop to Mulwellum Key uh, it's a canal I've got, I've got a I've got a kayak a two-man kayak so when the weather gets a little better I'm gonna canoe along the canal and there's a long tunnel that goes under several fields and land and I'm gonna canoe through it to the more Willem Key area so we will be checking that out at some point. Do you know, I'm walking along here and on the odd occasion, I can smell weed. Like somebody's smoking weed. But I don't know, maybe it's just a plant. So we're coming across some structures here. I think we might actually be near the mine. Yeah, because uh, this is the stream here that comes out of the mine. So, I've got a feeling it's up that way. Okay, so we're trekking up. That looks like it goes in along. Ah, there's a bit of a mine there. This must be the bottom part. Let's see if I can have a little look. Oh, I don't know where the bushes. Oh yeah. See it here. I'll be careful because I don't want to get my feet wet. Look at that. So yeah, that's a bit of a mine there. Very small, but um that's obviously one of the shafts that goes in. But we'll go up the top and see what's up there. Pan him round, won't be a minute. Yeah, some buildings here. This is the mine, which drops down there, just walk around. So that's the mine, quite a few things has collapsed into it now, so I mean this is really old, I mean you're going back 17, 16, 16, 17, 18 century, so so that's drops off down there. If you fell in there, you wouldn't be getting out unless you could climb a really good log over there. But that's the mine shaft. And we'll have a look at some of the buildings. Look at these lovely slow snow drops. <laughs> so there's a structure there. I don't know, Angel House maybe? Or just a house? for the mine. The old fireplace and that in the window. Oh, I can hear a woodpecker. <laughs> sign there saying unsafe building keep out I mean keep out <laughs> keep out of what there's nothing to go in <laughs> there's, there's nothing really to go in and here's a little thing here you can have a little look at 
the remains of a ferryman's cottage. Up to the end of the Great War, a wooden boat ferry was worked by Joe and Salis Vivian, who lived here. The old ferry ceased running in 1930, and the last ferryman was a retired commissioned shipwright of the Royal Naval named the Royal Navy named MacLeod. 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 I don't know. That's mad. So it was a ferry. So you had a ferry that came across here. That's cool. I like that. So we'll just continue around a minute, see if there's anything else in the area. There was a pathway that went over here, so we'll have a quick look. Like I say, that um, ford I came across, guys, is tidal, so high tide is not until half past four today, so as long as I'm back in a certain amount of time, I'll be safe. Otherwise, I'll be stuck. Nice trek through the woods. Uh, I've got a feeling this path probably just goes back down and around. So, yeah. We'll head back down and around. Roots slipping on my arse. So I've got my walking boots on today. So this goes on. But uh, I don't think there's anything else along there. Oh, I'll have a look anyway, shall we? So yeah, just trek down here in there. It just comes to an end. It doesn't go anywhere else. A little bit of a bank going up there, but nothing. So what we'll do is we'll head back and we'll go and check out this so-called bunker. Just walking past that entrance to the mine underneath us. Down there. And obviously that's that's it up there. So yeah, do you know walking around places like this, just getting out and about for your own sanity, just walking around, looking around places like this makes you feel good to be alive really. It's all you need to do, it doesn't cost much. It just makes you appreciate what's around you, away from the city hustle and bustle. It's great, peace and quiet. Not interfering with anybody, minding your own business. Living life. So we'll be coming back up to that dam again in a minute. We'll be heading across it. What a marsh. <laughs> you don't want to be walking in that. You'll come out stinking if you ever come out at all. Coming back to the dam. Oh my god, guys, guess what? The tide's not in, thank god. So we're just going to pop down and have a look at this little sign down here. See what it says. See this is the dirt track that goes off but it gets steep at the top. So what is it? Ah oh, yeah. Site of special scientific interest. Cool stuff. Right. Now walking across this again, I can only walk one person at a time. Because it's not really a parking, a passing space. Hello, doggy. 
Oh, a doggy. But, uh, yeah. So, here we go. Followed by a dog. Guys walking across with his willies on. Just mad. I wouldn't be doing that. I'm going to focus on it and I can't, ah, hang on, there we are, yeah, just make sure my focus is okay, that's better. I always use manual focus on this guys, automatic focus is a waste of space, manual focus is so better. Right, let's go and have a look for this place, so be back with you in a second. So this is some sort of youth hostel. Uh, I don't know, some outdoor activities maybe. So that's private. We are going this way. Yeah. Yeah, some sort of outdoor activity centre that. Quite mad. Right. Got a feeling this thing's here in the trees. I can see something in the distance there. Some concrete structure there. So we'll go and have a look. Oh, it looks quite interesting, I must say. But I'm not overly sure though. There's a pheasant over there. So this does look interesting. This is like a big green area here. Too sure about this, really. I can hear a generator. I don't think this is a bunker. This, nah, this ain't a bunker. I think it is. It feels quite warm in here. Let's just see if that door's open a minute. This sounds like a... No, that's completely not. This sounds like a water pumping station. Bloody bunker. Kids, I tell you. Go out and check it out. There's a bunker out there. Looks more like a water pumping station. Let's check the other side out. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. I didn't say so. Oh, 
that is. A couple of bricks. Somebody's house down there. And that looks pretty much the same. An entrance there that goes over to an entrance over there. So I want to just maybe check something out a minute. So bear with me. So yeah, we're just coming down past the activity centre again at the moment. But I'm a little curious. Because I've got a feeling there uh, it's a water pumping station. And I'm going to prove that right now because it's only just behind this building here. So it's only up there. <coughs> and there's an entrance here. And there it is. That's literally all I was on top of. That doesn't look like a bunker to me. That looks like a water pumping station. Yeah, so um, that concludes my video today, guys. Checking out this beautiful scenery and uh, Catch me on the next one. See you later.